So let's burn some carpet seams here. What's cracking? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. And in this video, I just want to walk you through a few scenarios when burning seams, what to expect, and how to handle it. This is for all you newbie DIY guys that want to get this done. So simple as can be, these are already cut. Seam tape's already under it. The iron's gliding along nicely. Basically, you just let your iron sit in place for about 8 to 10 seconds, slide it an iron's length forward, blend it together, make sure none of the fibers go down into the seam, and you will have a beautiful seam. If the fibers get down into that glue, if there's gaps or a bad cut, it's going to look horrific and everybody know, is going to know it's your first time. So, try to avoid that. It's all in the cut. Now, let's go through this step by step here. These are two different carpets being seamed together. This is the most common scenario for a DIY type of person to encounter. So we are going from a hallway of new carpet to a bedroom of old carpet. We're going to seam the two together. So first things first, I peeled back the hallway new carpet and I'm throwing a nice clean cut on that there. Now, if you don't have a steady hand, I want you to mark the sides of the door jam on the new carpet where you want the seam to fall and then put a straight edge on it from point to point and run that down it. That way you know you have a nice straight edge. It's going to be clean, beautiful, and good to go. Now, in this case, I'm just tracing the new carpet with my razor. Make sure you have a very sharp blade when you do this. Otherwise, it'll just shred and look horrific. It'll be all bad. So I'm going from door jam to door jam. Peel back that old carpet. We're going to get that out of there. And we are ready to rock. Next, get the seam tape. Well, first we got to make sure it lines up. Look at me get ahead of myself here. Everything's good. Now we're going to get the seam tape. We're going to unroll it and cut it about four inches hefty. We're going to peel back the new carpet. We're going to take the seam tape. We're going to fold under the edges on each side just so it bumps up on the tack strip on the door jams just a little bit to make sure the tape burns evenly and we are going to get down to melting this. Drop the seam iron in there. Everything's going good so far. Let that iron sit there for about 8 to 10 seconds like I said. We're just going to take our time and let it slide an iron's length forward nice and easy to get a good even burn on that seam tape. Go ahead and put those two together, blend them in. This is the best way to start because no matter what, you know there's a seam there. And it's easy to hide a seam in theory when it's two totally different carpets. So you're good to go. Let it go all the way to the other side there. And now, one of the tricks you got to pay attention to is getting the iron out without pulling the seam tape with it. So take your time and just kind of do this nice, smooth swoop action here. Wait for it. And here we go. Just slide it forward so you don't pull the tape out and get glue all over the new or old carpet. Blend it together and that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, I want you to comment below. I'm going to create a follow-up video answering it for you and I'll see you on the next one.